The Milan Mirror Exchange has been a family business here in Milan for almost 60 years. In 1966, uh, my mom and dad, uh, they, they founded the, the Milan Mirror. Uh, there was a competitor in town that he actually worked for called the Milan Exchange. About five years later, Bob and Doris Parkins purchased the Milan Exchange and merged the two papers into the Milan Mirror Exchange. They literally raised their eight children in the newspaper business. We all worked here at, at one time or another, uh, whether it was stuffing newspapers, delivering newspapers, um, you know, just helping around the office, making up ads or making up pages. Uh, we all grew up in the business, so you know, it was never a dull moment. Victor recalls times when his dad would take them along to breaking news stories. You may be, you know, on the way home from a baseball game with dad and all of a sudden a news story breaks out and so next thing you know you're on on a scene of, of some kind of news story. Victor Parkins and his sister Scarlett Elliott are now co-owners of the Milan Mirror Exchange. Scarlett says she fell in love with the newspaper business from an early age. It's always been a passion um, and I worked here stuffing inserts when I was in the sixth grade. Went to college for two years, always worked at press. Then I got into sales which I really really enjoy going out and talking to customers and new businesses and things like that. Victor took over the job of editor when his father passed away in 2008. It's something I'm proud of to, to carry on his legacy and, um, you know, just to keep going, uh, keep things going the way he started them. Uh, we're 100% hometown community news, and that's the way he wanted it. Victor recalls a story from Milan that gained national attention in 1977. There was millions of blackbirds that came to roost in Milan, uh, so big that the National Guard had to be called in. They had to spray them with, um, with, with some kind of chemi poisonous chemical. And so there were dead blackbirds laying all over the town. The BBC came to town. Uh, NBC Today Show came to town, and I actually got to ride in the helicopter with my dad to watch them spray these these uh, blackbirds. Victor and Scarlett hope to continue the family's legacy for years to come. We just want stories about people from this community, and that, that's what uh, our readers want to see on our pages. So that, you know that that's our focus. Our dad really loved pictures in the paper, so. Um, that tradition is kind of carried on still. And, you know, it's a hit. I mean, you see parents posting those pictures on Facebook. and The Milan Mirror Exchange prints 4,000 issues every week and posts their stories online. The Milan Mirror Exchange, made in Tennessee.